With the Redmi K30, we come to a new chapter in the ongoing Realme vs Redmi saga. It's an interesting one, that's for sure, since now both competitors are sporting the same chipset, the Snapdragon 730G. So who's gonna win this? Would it be the Realme X2 or the Redmi K30? Let's find out in today's speed test video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech, and if you do end up liking what you see in this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. It's not really gonna make a difference, because YouTube does not send out notifications to any C4 Tech subscribers. But go ahead, hit that bell icon anyway. It makes us feel better. Let's now get this video started. Now before we begin, let's play a little guessing game. Which one of these two phones do you think will make it across the finish line? Leave your guesses in the comment section below. Now, I know most of you are familiar with our speed test format, but hey, in case you forgot, and here's a quick little rundown. There are going to be two rounds, each with two laps. The first round is going to have some light apps, casual games, a few social media apps thrown in, stuff like, you know, your regular apps that you're going to use in your day-to-day -day life. The second round is where we step it up with heavier apps, graphically intense games, and a video render that pushes the CPU, GPU, and also tests the storage speeds. The first lap of each round, it's gonna be about the app opening times and the second one, that's gonna be all about RAM management. Now to keep things as far as possible, we're gonna limit the refresh rate of the K30 to just 60Hz, the same as what we have on the Realme X2. Apart from that, both the phones are connected to the same wireless network and there are no apps running in the background. Let's now go ahead and start the stopwatch. Opening up Super Mario Run, The X2 loads it a split second faster and grabs a slim little lead. The Redmi K30 though is hot on its heels. With Feedly, the K30 snatches the lead back. Moving on to the second row of apps, both phones are neck and neck. This can be anyone's lap at this point. And wow, they actually managed to finish the lap at the same time, 39 seconds. Moving on to RAM management, here I feel the app animations, they are a tad faster on the K30. And it finishes round 1 in 54 seconds, the X2 is just 1 second behind. So that round for all intents and purposes, you could call it a tie. But that was to be expected since we are comparing very similar hardware. Uh, now maybe the second round can separate them. We have graphically intensive titles like PUBG, demanding apps as well as a video to render. So let's see what happens here. For rendering, we are using the VLLO app, we are creating a new project, importing the same 5 second 4K video clip onto both the phones, we are slowing down the footage to 20% and keeping it ready to render. Let's now go ahead and start the stopwatch. Opening up PUBG. The tables are flipped this time around, the K30 loads it up faster. It's a slim lead though and the X2 seems to be catching up. Once more, it seems like the X2 has caught up with the K30, but Redmi opens up Feedly just a tiny bit faster. The race is on though and the X2 is coming dangerously close. to the render then and this is a golden chance for the X2 to pull ahead. And it does just that. The rendering on the X2 is noticeably faster. It finishes the render first and goes down to the last row of apps.
The Realme X2 has already finished the first lap in a minute and 29 seconds. The K30 is lagging behind, it's behind by 5 seconds. 1 minute 34 seconds is what it takes to finish this lap. On to RAM management, can the K30 mount a comeback? Well, the X2 reloads Temple Run 2, the K30 doesn't. It's got all apps in memory and finishes the test in a minute 58. The X2 has fallen quite a bit behind. It's now stuck reloading PUBG. It finally finishes the test in 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Guys, do note that we are using the same 8GB RAM variants of both phones, so there's no discrepancy there. Let's now reboot the phones, check the boot timing. So this is a very closely fought round with the K30 edging out a narrow victory in the first lap and then making a return in the second lap to win that as well. Now, since both phones have the same amount of RAM, the reason the X2 lost here, it's, it seems to be because of the aggressive RAM management on ColorOS. On the other hand, memory optimizations on MIUI is one of the reasons why the Redmi K30 managed to walk away with a win. In fact, if it comes to hardcore performance, the X2 actually did better. It's got the faster app launch speeds. However, these split-second timings aren't really gonna make too much of a difference with day-to-day -day usage. So maybe we'll dig deeper. Would you wanna see a camera comparison or maybe even a full comparison between these two? Leave a comment below. Uh, if you guys wanna see it, I'll go ahead and make it happen. So that's pretty much it for this quick little speed test. Do let me know what you think about these two phones. Which one of them would you prefer if you were to choose between these two and why? And I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about the video. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.